Hey guys, my name is Beth Cunningham and I'm a part of the WPHS News Team here at Pace High School in Santa Rosa County, Florida. Today, I'll be taking you through one of the most important elements in broadcast journalism, interviewing. We'll start from the beginning and take you through to the finished project. Be sure to pay attention for some helpful hints along the way. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need is the list of questions. Always have a variety of clear, well-written questions before you go out on location. Make your questions open-ended and tell your subject to elaborate. This ensures that you'll have a good amount of footage when you start the editing process. For example, what was your role in this event? How did this event personally affect you? What is your position on this issue and why? The next thing you need before you go out on location is equipment. Always use a tripod when filming interviews. You want your shot to be steady and constant. Another necessity is a microphone, preferably a lavalier. Run the cord up through the shirt so the wire doesn't show and clip it to the collar. When choosing a location, you want to choose one that will have good audio and one that is relevant to your topic. For example, if you're doing a feature on a top recruited football player, don't interview him in a classroom. See if you can arrange to be on the field before the next home game. No matter what your story is, the first question you ask your subject always remains the same. What is your name and how do you spell it? Peyton Cuts, P-E-Y-T-O-N-C-U-T-T-S. Even though this part doesn't go in the feature, it is vital to have on film. So when you add the title graphics later on, you don't have to go look up your subject's name. When filming interviews, you always want to follow the rule of thirds. This means that if you separate the shot into three even pieces, your subject will be located in one of the outer sections. It doesn't matter which one, just keep it the same throughout your piece. Finally, you want your subject to be comfortable. Ease any fears they have and encourage them if they mess up. Tell them to converse with you and not to look at the camera. Editing will be different for everyone depending on what software you use. However, no matter how advanced your program is in this area, your focus should still be on clear, loud audio. Everything else is useless if you can't hear what your subject is saying. And that's interviewing. This is the foundation of all news and sports features, so be sure that it is solid. Till next time, I'm Beth Cunningham, signing out.